So far, evolution has brought Homo sapiens to the forefront of our planet's food chain. Could that evolution continue to improve our species as we begin to venture out Five, into the stars? Four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. Yep. And the what might that look like over the next 1,000 years? One thousand years in the future? What will humanity be like after the next millennium? Will we be planet-hopping space travelers? How will our bodies change while adapted to whatever internal or environmental challenges appear during that time? There are scientists actively working to figure out what kind of changes we will likely see as time moves forward and our species advances. Let's take a step back and look at what scientists already know about humanity's past and attempt to understand the factors that led to the changes to our species so far. Human evolution so far. Scientists have been able to trace the evolution of Homo sapiens back through dozens of other humanoid species, stretching back for several million years. All of those other humanoids underwent evolutionary changes to better suit themselves to their environment but ultimately, it was only our species that survived. But not even our species are immune to evolutionary changes, and we have developed many adaptations that helped humanity survive. Our bodies have been steadily getting lighter, and the size of our bones have been declining over the past 100,000 years. Because of our species spread across the planet, humans have gained an enormous amount of diversity in our appearance that appear to not be found in our earliest ancestors. Many evolutionary scientists attribute this amount of diversity to the vastly different climates in the various regions of the Earth. One of the most obvious signs of changes in our species that most people have to deal with at some point or another is the continuing existence of the third set of molars, also called wisdom teeth. Our heads and jaws have shrunk so much since humanity's emergence that these teeth no longer fit in our mouths and often need to be surgically removed. Humanity is constantly evolving and there can be many contributing factors to this change. Each one has brought us to this point today where we have spread across the globe and even begin reaching out to the stars. Can you think of any other change that happened to humanity that has allowed us to reach where we are today? How can we know what humans may look like in 1,000 years? Looking through various other Homo species that came before us, there are some pretty obvious changes in appearance. We can find clues here by looking at the social and environmental factors of these species compared to the species that came later. Scientists can form hypotheses about what led to the physical changes. In much the same way, researchers have been looking at what influences modern day life may have on our species over time. These studies also like to venture into what adaptations our species may make when dealing with life off of the Earth's surface. For instance, astronomers know that as astronauts spend months in space, their skeletal and muscular structure is heavily affected by the reduced gravity. Many scientists believe that if enough low or high gravity exposure is present over multiple generations, it will inevitably lead to some type of change in our bodies. How much of an effect do you think an increase or decrease in gravity will have on our skeletal structure? What other changes may have happened? Throughout the 300,000 years our species has been present on the planet, our bodies have adapted to fit into the different environments they settled in, and not all of these were as obvious as a change in height or skin pigmentation. There is a group of people who have an increased ability to stay underwater due to developing a larger spleen than the average human, which can help filter blood as well as other key circulatory figures. These allow the Bajau people of the Philippines to get the majority of their food from the ocean by allowing them to hunt underwater for a seemingly inhuman amount of time. Many can dive up to 200 feet below the surface and remain underwater for upwards of 13 minutes. What kind of changes may be present within the various systems of our bodies after we spend time in gravity that is different from the gravitational forces of the Earth, which our species evolved with? 
Will future scientists need to figure out ways to keep our bodies functioning normally in whatever environment humans may find themselves in as they spread off of our home planet? What could we have accomplished? But our bodies are not the only thing that has changed over time. Our larger brains have allowed humanity to continually build knowledge and innovate better tools. What kind of new technology and advancements will come about over the next 1,000 years? One way our species has set itself apart from the other animals on Earth has been the use of tools in many different applications. The types of tools in use have evolved and updated over the course of humanity and given us the means to grow and advance to the modern age. In just the past 60 years, we have gone from sending the first humans into space to having a permanent space station in orbit above our planet and space telescopes that can see billions of years into the universe's past. And there are those who predict there to be at least one base on the surface of the moon within the next few decades. The power and speed of the tech that we use has been following a generational trend of doubling about every two years, a phenomenon often referred to as Moore's Law. How far out into our solar system or beyond will our civilization span? Could we even make it beyond the protection of the sun into interstellar space by the beginning of the third millennium? What will the Earth look like in 1,000 years? It may also be helpful to consider what our own planet may look like in the future as well. If the current trends regarding the climate continue, the planet may be a very different place compared to where it is today. Will the Earth continue to lose much of its flora and fauna to the changing environment across the planet? And of the species that survive the next thousand years, what kind of new adaptations will they gain to survive in a changed world? It is possible that humanity will face some difficulties in thriving here and may have already begun to populate other planets beyond our own. Imagine massive spacecrafts carrying large groups of people beyond our solar system and towards their new homes on distant worlds. Scientists have already identified thousands of planets outside of our solar system with dozens of them classified as Earth-like and possibly habitable for humans. Research estimates that there are likely billions of planets within the Milky Way, and a decent percentage of them will be able to harbour life. Or will humans come together to change the current course of our climate, maybe gaining the ability to gather resources on other planets or even asteroids will allow the pollution of Earth to fall? What will happen even further into the future? There are those who are looking further into the future and trying to understand what may happen over the next 10,000 years. Will we be closer to becoming an intergalactic society or does our fate lie somewhere else? There is no way of knowing how much our society will advance in the future, but there are those who see great achievements in our future. Perhaps we will be able to move up on the Kardashev civilization scale and enter into the realm of using the energy generated by stars and planetary systems to power our trips through the stars. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what future challenges will have the most effect on humanity. See you next time on Matter.